Hi everybody. Um, so I haven't been on camera in a while. Um, I mean like doing an actual like video video. I've done a lot of lives recently but haven't done videos in a while. But I just wanted to show off um, my Hirshner's haul that I had recently uh, got in. And um, I need to order some yarn for a commission. And the, or the yarn that I ordered um, is on back order from Hershner. So I'm waiting for them to like get it in and then they'll ship it to me. Uh, but until then, all the other stuff um, came in other than the actual yarn that I've been looking for. So I've been having a really hard time trying to find um, brown Bernat blanket. Like, like, like a nice, rich, like a chocolate brown. But they don't have it. I can't find it. It's not even on the Yarnspiration websites. They have like this light tan color, like sand or something. And I'm like, no, I want, I want like a chocolate brown. They don't have it. The closest that I can find, maybe even to that texture, is the um, Premier Basics Chenille, which I've never touched. I've never tried it. Just by the visual inspection. Um, for the website online and you know of all the pictures and things like that it's the closest thing that I can think of that might be like that of that kind of texture I didn't want the velvety kind of chenille I wanted something that's a little bit more durable and I've been reading you know um, like uh, reviews and stuff on it and it sounds like it's the product that I want so Hirschner's had a really good sale. They were doing like a flat rate shipping over like $35. And so I went ahead and ordered this basic chenille from Hirschner's. And then just to get over that $35 mark, um, I ordered some, some clearance yarn. So I'm going to show you some of that. Also, um, I've been wanting to make these for a little while, for a few months. Um, so I'm having a hard time finding eyelash yarn, okay? It's so, it, it's so out of favor right now. Um, I used to really rely on uh, Hobby Lobby to carry something like that, you know? But they don't, they don't carry it anymore. It's been like discontinued. The only two companies that I've seen that carry that anymore is Premier and also um, Lion brand, okay, so they're the only ones that carry it um, or make it anymore. Uh, I have not seen any on yarn inspirations whatsoever. Uh, so um, I got on Hershner's website and I did find Premier eyelash yarn. And what I specifically needed this orange, and it's a beautiful, bright, fiery orange. And the reason why I want to make a calcifer amigurumi. Now if you don't know who calcifer is, he's an anime character from a very uh, popular uh, famous uh, Studio Ghibli anime movie called Howl's um, is it Mad? No, Moving Castle. Is it Magic Castle or Moving Castle? I can't remember. But anyway, one of the characters is called calcifer and he's just like this little flame and he's a very kind of pivotal character in the, in the movie, in the storyline. And so I really wanted to make a calcifer. I saw a pattern online for it and I was like, oh, I need to make that for my kid because she loves that movie. And so I want to make her a calcifer, but then I want to make more. I want to make more calcifers. So, you know, um, yeah, she even has like her, her, her pet corn snake is named calcifer so <laughs> that's what i want to make one for her i want to make it like a keychain for her and um and then give it to her you know but i've been wanting to do that for a while and i just had the hardest time finding eyelash yarn like I, it was really really difficult to find so i finally ordered some to go along with the other yarn um that didn't come in it's on back order from Hershner's. But anyways, I'm going to show you the other stuff I got. So they had, oh yeah, by the way, 
$3.99. Not bad. Um, I have other eyelash yarn. I uh, just didn't have an orange. So I had like pink and I had purple and I had blue. But I, and I even had, I think I even had like a light green, but I didn't, I didn't have orange. So hopefully I will use this. Okay. All right. Let me move, move on, move on. Okay. So, um, they had some of chenille, uh, this sun, Sundance Sassy Spray Chenille Yarn. Okay. So these types of colorways are real popular right now. They've been popular for about like a year or so. And, uh, they were selling these uh, for $1.99. Originally, I think these were more like three or $4.99, but they were selling these for $1.99. And these were the last two colorways that they had, which was this really bright pink and white. Okay. Um, what does it say? Do, 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 do. What color is it? It's called Pink Pop. And with Valentine's coming up, I imagine I can do something really good with this. This is 100 grams, and it is the yardage. The yardage on this bad boy is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm, okay, so it's three and a half ounces, which is 100 grams, which is 32 yards. For a bulky six yarn, I thought that was a really good deal. Because you go and buy this stuff, you especially in the stores, it's hard to, to get, you know, at such a good price. Like I worked out the cost. It was like two cents a gram. And I was like, that's, that's right up my alley. Mm, okay. So I got one, two, and three, three skeins of this bright pink, which I think is going to be perfect for, you know, we got spring we got valentine's coming up okay so the other color they had they only had two so they had this green okay so let me show you i really like this green i think it's fun it's light it's not like you know in your face green but it's like green and white and i'm thinking like okay what can i do with this and the instant instantly i thought okay i can make frogs i can make like the big leggy frogs. I think out of the three skeins that I got, I can probably at least make two. Two big leggy frogs and just kind of do something fun with these guy with this, you know, and I can probably sell that on market. And so that's what I'm thinking. If you have another suggestion, you know, go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, in below oops upside down so I got these three and it feels really nice and it's you know uh, it's a polyester yarn of course but it feels really nice it has a nice like texture it doesn't feel like like plasticky at all you know it feels pretty good I, I wish there were more colors now that I have you know like I actually see this you know with my naked eye and it's actually quite pretty I've been crazy for green lately I don't know what my issue is but um, usually I'm not that crazy about green um, and but I have been lately like in the last year I've just been like green 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 and green is usually not my color like I I can't wear greens uh, especially if they're yellow based green that they just make me look, like like make, make makes my skin look pink okay like yellow and like I can wear gold and that's weird I can wear gold but I cannot wear like a bright yellow and I love love bright yellow like like daffodil yellow I love that that is so pretty to me anyway so that is what I got in for right now I'm happy to find this this eyelash yarn um, now how I would work that pattern out I read it to a point and I would have to work another yarn alongside it in order to crochet it but I'm okay with that um, the only other option I had would be just to do an um, orange yarn and then brush the yarn you know uh, and I don't want to do that because I just have a feeling that would just knock my stitches loose 
I don't know. Everyone's got a different idea of, you know, methodology and and things like that. Like, I would totally, just totally rip that sucker up. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you watching. Um, hope you have a great day, and I'll see y'all later. Ta-ta for now.